The most exciting part that has to be right now is playing around with the LED lights. It, they've been around for 60 years, but no, almost nobody has done any work with them in, on growing plants um, under controlled environments. I'm able to provide the light that the plant wants. If I go outside, the plant has all these environments that it doesn't want. It's too warm, sometimes too cold, too much light, too little light. I'm able to meet what it requires. The system that we're developing right now is very similar to the incandescent light bulb when it was first brought into the house. Incandescent light bulbs were considered this high risk environment. Sunlight was the only natural and we could use candles to supplement. People are fearful because it's unknown and they go, well, this is an, an artificial methodology. It's the exact same technology as using an incandescent light bulb and I would never make the argument that an incandescent light bulb is not safe. They've been in our house, they have drawbacks and negatives, but as a whole they're still a safe environment for this. The standard lighting system is an HPS, which stands for high pressure sodium. High pressure sodium bulbs are a broad spectrum light, which prov provides light all the way from the infrared all the way to the UV. Um, a lot of that can't be utilized by the plant, so it's not idealized under those. LED lights are very narrow spectrum, so they can produce, when we see a red LED, it's only a red light. When we see red out of an HPS, it's a little bit red, a little bit green, a bit of everything in it. So what we're doing is we're blending different LEDs together to get an idealized spectral curve. So most people are familiar with an incandescent light bulb, they're around 68% efficient. Fluorescent light bulbs are around 14%. Um, HPS gets up to about 26. There's new technology that might push them into the 30 range. LEDs are now just passing 30% energy efficiency with a maximum efficiency of up to 60%. So we're currently testing on some of the new um, their cream type LEDs which are creeping up into the 40% efficiency range. High intensity ma mammoth amount of light that are coming out and checking the different spectral to find the, the ideal quality that is required for the plants. So we played around, NASA's done a lot of this work where they go, okay, well, let's say if I want to grow plants on the space station or Mars, how can I grow them with this? And we know that's possible and we can monitor all these parameters. The, but saying, what happens if I get lights that are double the intensity or triple the intensity of what we, we have now? What is the impact that we see with the plants? Can I make them so that they're 10 times more nutritious? Can they grow at twice the rate, three times the rate than what we're expecting? And those are the parts that I get excited about. Can I push, where can I push that envelope as far as I can?